Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final three episodes of season two of Working. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in three, two, one, go. Don't go, you're always hungry. Yay. Yeah, but what's wrong? Searching for what? Is it a who? Daisy? Like Daisy from Mario? <laughs> or is Daisy an animal? Okay. I mean, you can't have pets in a restaurant if it's that. Ma'am? Because she's looking underneath the dang desk and everything, so it's got to be a freaking animal or something. I don't know. What if it's like a... a mm, I don't think it would be... Hamster, yeah, hamster, maybe a dog, cat, but she would have to keep it upstairs in the attic with her, and then she gotta go out and buy food. What? Oh. Well, maybe Kyoko son took her. If, da if that was the last one who was around Daisy besides you. Like the attic that she's staying in. I mean, but like Daisy can't get up and walk around by herself. Oh, you poor baby. Yamada, you'll find her. Oh, and here you go.
See, there you go. In the attic the whole entire time. All you had to do was sit in the house. You lost the ribbon. Oh, hell no, I ain't helping you with that. Because I I mean, don't worry, you can text them when you get home. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's true, Of course she will. I mean, come on now. She's tight with them.
Is there something wrong with the parfait, Kyoko san? Is it because Kyo I mean the Yachu didn't make it? I mean, she hauled up. She just drank that in one little. I mean, that that's like a shot. Nice. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't with her. Sure, you don't need anything. Mm hmm. Because <laughs> that was the way it's just out there. Oh, okay. You could have just not have answered the phone. What is with y'all not answering the phone? I mean, damn. Mm -hmm. Taking it like a shot. Because it's you, and it's you he likes. I just, I want you <laughs> to get the heck. Read the room! Oh my god, he got you though.
she had to. I mean, we didn't see her officially go to them and talk, but she had to. Her hair looks good like that. <laughs> but she looks more a little kiddish. <laughs> she looks like one of those like mm, little really cute rich girls that you be like the kid. <laughs> Mini little socialite. I don't like seeing her like this. He's not even happy with the curly legs because the curly legs is you! Well, at least it's food and not your hair. Does it taste good now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but you barely even work.
making them. I, I got no comment about that. I, mm, I don't even know what to say about that last one, but but you know what? It's still like the relationship between. <laughs> So, it's better than it was at the beginning of season one going on to season two. It still is a little awkward because the fact is, you know, King Gatchino is such a bubbly airhead. And we love her so much. But it's just like, girl, oh, come on. Like, read that room. Read that room. Like, come on, girl. You know it's you. I mean, mm, sometimes, like, there's going to be an episode one day where someone is literally going to come out and tell her, oh, you know. He likes you. That's who he likes. You. <laughs> you. But because she is so in love with Kyoko Sai. Because she's not even the. I can't. I can't. Why <laughs> don't I this episode? I mean. The relationship is better. I love it. It's so cute. And so I'm like, oh my god, I can't with them sometimes because they're just so shippable together. When they have good chemistry, and you're just like, oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, but ain't it funny that Daisy was in the attic? Like I said, I was like, come on, man. Like, because honestly, think about that. If someone sees something, they're going to either put the stuffed animal somewhere where someone else can see, or possibly whoever is staying wherever the hell they're staying, they're going to put it back where it is. I mean, if Yamada just would have went back up to the attic, all of it would have been freaking solved in another three minutes. But no, Yamada was like this. Plus, Yamada lost the good dang ribbon. So you think anybody was going to help her after looking for a teddy bear? No. That, it's a no for me. Like, I'd be like, look, you wanted to give me a couple of hours. Maybe until, you know, end of the work shift. And then, yeah, we're going to look for this thing together. Like, oh. Poor baby. <laughs> I hope she found the ribbon. <laughs> from what the preview looks like, I'm guessing she didn't. Because if she did, the ribbon would be on the teddy bear somewhere at least. But it's not. I don't know. We're like, mm, mm. I don't even know what else to say about this episode. <laughs> I'm gonna wait, count away. Fucking close away. Oh my god, I can't. The fact that she is trying to teach her little sister how to, like, you know, self-defense in this, but then she gives her sister the bottle. I'm thinking it's water. And then she, so she's like, you know, close away, Nissan, this alcohol. And they're like, oh, that's for me! And they're like, oh my god. <laughs> they're like, I love this day drinker, but it's like, oh my god. But see, I just see too much sometimes. <laughs> Like, you know, with somebody, mm, it gets drunk too damn quick, and then they just like, whoa, and you're just like, you're right over there, and oh my god, that's like, okay, when I was in high school, and I had to work, um, the Jacksonville Jaguar games for, uh, my chorus group in order to get money to go to, um, certain places like Atlanta, New York, or even New Orleans during my senior year, and any time... <laughs> I would be either doing, like, concessions or... <laughs> I'm sorry, because this, is, this shit is too funny. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to laugh. Anytime when I would do, like, concessions or whatever, there was always one person who would come up to me and say the stupidest crap. <laughs> And I have to look at them like, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, you idiot. Like, okay, wait, wait, wait. There was one time, one time I was working, and I was doing concessions and everything, refilling up um, <laughs> uh, the ketchup and the mustard and, and bottles and ish like that. Well, there was one where I had an empty hole. 
and I had already filled up the other two, replaced them and everything. And somebody went to go get some nachos. Or, yeah, yeah, some nachos. And they were going to put it on the side and then get some napkins and then go back and sit down. All of a sudden, you hear, oh, no. And I'm like, what, what, what what's going on? And so I look, like, cause a woman came up to me at the same time. And she's like, you guys should do something about this. And this woman is, like, drunk out of her mind. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I look down and I see this guy's nachos all on the floor. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And stuff like that. I was like, where did you get it? And he got it over there. So I told him, I explained it. I was like, yeah, there's nothing over here. And they were like, oh, okay, we'll fix it, yada, yada, yada. But, oh my god. The worst thing was, he was trying to eat the nachos when they were dropped on the ground. And I was just over here, I was like, oh my god, please, sir, don't do that. Like, you're gonna get it contaminated. It's already contaminated. It's on the floor. And you want to eat? Please don't do that. Like, oh my god, don't, don't, don't be. But when you're drunk, and this dude was drunk out of his mind, like, you don't know what's left from right and so <laughs> like, I can't imagine myself, like, working at a restaurant. And they serve drinks, and they're like, here, you're like, here, drinks, and yeah, go ahead, yeah! And then they just do something, and you're like, oh. I can't. Oh. <clears throat> Fond memories of dealing with drunk people. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. What's up, Mahiru? You know, honestly, I didn't think it was that. I thought she was going to be like, you know what? Mm. Time to tell everybody I have a bigger crush on him. Like, mm, 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 mm. And I think everybody would have been like, yeah, we know. We surely know. Because it's that obvious. Oh my god. And it's because I haven't watched the show in a long time. And like, what? This show came out in 2020. 2017, 18, darling, darling, the first 2017, 2018, whatever. And how the freaking one girl we all knew had like the biggest crush on Ichigo. And it was just like, hmm, you want to go ahead and share with the class how you feel right now? Because it is so freaking obvious that you are crushing on Ichigo. And so sometimes I feel like, you know, with that epilogue, that girl was not happy with whoever the heck she, you know, got it. <laughs> because she wanted to be with Ichigo, but no, Ichigo got to be with Best Boy Gotta. <laughs> Which was good in my book, I'm just saying. <sighs> God, just mm, the shit that we remember from Darling. Oh my God. Like, yes, that was a. Big old shit storm, like, Ugh. Well, that's good. I mean, but still, you may want to test it out on other guys just in case. And besides, Soma is just from right there.
I mean, I, I knew that was not going to solve the problem. <laughs> Of course. I mean, you would have to get, like, get, like, uh, I don't know, like, not rope, but, like, bandages. There we go. I'm like, I'm so stupid. You get bandages to conceal her chest, and then try putting on regular clothes, you know, clothes on her, and then it would have been okay. Look at you. Yeah, you're right, but <laughs> oh, you Because my Exactly. It, you know what? I can't believe I'm saying this, but it, you know what? Everything, no matter what happens, usually it is almost the Amada's fault. Not all the time, but just sometimes. Did the phone break? <laughs> oh my god! It's still nothing, huh? Well, I don't think you're going to get that message. Mm. Yeah, I think it would be better if you text her first, but then, you know, she could be, like, literally just sitting there right now, just looking at her phone and be like, oh my god, should I do it now, 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 now? <laughs> I mean, I all the fucking people goes away. Okay, is it Mahiru this thing? Mahiru?
long. Everybody wins. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I mean, that's a nice thing to say. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. You were making your wallpaper. He would. I mean, come on. Now. Ah, Yamada's brother. No, no. <laughs> but hold on, he's the only one who can literally, like, you know, stop her punches, so... <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Stop! Stop it! Yeah, but she hasn't hit you in a while, and so secretly I feel like you were like wanting to have that kink back in your life. But you know what? That's okay. You you know what? That's step one: acknowledging that you have a kink. Because <laughs> everybody's a kink on something, a fetish on something. We just you know some of us don't really want to know what it is sometimes. Mm hmm. Yeah, bells, right? No, yeah. Uh, uh, no, dummy. I mean, he lives in an apartment. You live in a restaurant. No. Mm. 
Exactly. I, I don't know how it feel living alone in a restaurant and then mm, just in case somebody break in. What you do? Are we a piece? Oh my god. Sure. Yeah, good luck getting back in. Yeah. What the hell is that? Mm, good job. Because he doesn't want to get hit. Yeah.
Uh -huh. Oh, nice punch. <laughs> Poor Daisy, though. And Daisy, okay, though. I mean, she is some animal. <laughs> I mean, we gonna show up. Damn. <laughs> and Daisy final. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, and then you haven't punched a guy in a certain amount of days, you're good, even though that's the almost broke your record today, but still, you're doing good. Oh, oh. I mean, they've been here the whole entire time. I mean, they even had a regular conversation without her punching him. So, you know, that's good. Baby steps. Mm -hmm. We just hope and pray, like, you know, by the end of the series, whenever the show ends, she's okay. That she's able to walk past the guy, not like cower in fear and be like, okay, you know, self defense 101, let me kick this dude's ass no matter what. But. Only if it's a grouper or somebody has like a knife. You feel dangerous or something. You don't feel okay. Yeah, you can do that. But if it's just someone saying, hi, how are you? Yada, yada. You know, you don't punch them. Like, mm. But the <laughs> popular Yamada were just there. Who knows how long they were there. They could have been there the whole entire time. Even that, like, right, mm, right after the point where they showed them with, Helping with the teddy bear for Daisy and stuff like that. They could have came down and those two were just talking and stuff and just didn't notice them. It's all right there to see her. I mean, oh, it's just so cute. But, you know, rest in peace, Daisy. Mm -hmm. It's better that Daisy died. Give us a noble sacrifice. <laughs> so Because so would have had like this big ass bruise on it. I can't. Mm. <laughs> That's why y'all need to get her like a step stool or something, especially for her and Yamada. Oh, she trying. Oh. 
about it. Wait, Hunnan, are you telling me that she's going to eventually... Uh, is she moving? Is she quitting her job? She put her two weeks notice and stuff and she gonna go work some No, 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 I can't accept that. Like it is no, 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 no. I mean, mm, we're gonna have that conversation again of how let's go ahead and take somebody off the show, whether we're killing them off or whatever, you know, you know uh, mm, differences and everything. Someone doesn't like argue uh, someone argues with someone, someone doesn't like anyone anymore. I mean, even though that's not technically happening with this show, but using, you know, so many shows that I've watched in the past like that. I mean it, it's not a show when you take someone off anymore. I mean it'd be weird going into season three and she's not there, but I don't really think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I think no matter what, she still likes working where she works, but who knows what the hell is going to happen in this last episode. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode of season two. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. <laughs> well, I'm glad it continues from right there. <laughs> I will miss the crap out of this song. It's such a good song. <laughs> I'm getting taller. I mean, she was standing on her tippy toes, but I mean, does that really even count? Being taller? I, I don't know. I mean, honestly, my mother, ask her. She's short too. <laughs> and she can't get anything I want! I mean, but seriously, like, just get her a step stool. Mm. 
Oh, so you plain lamb. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. You know, you would think he would come back, because, I mean, this is the last episode of season two, but maybe he might be in the first episode of season three. Mm -hmm. It's obvious and it's written all over your face. Yeah, because I mean, if you have to focus more on your studies, that makes the most sense. But this girl just went around and immediately. Yeah, I want to keep this situation right. I told you, no matter what happens, who is the crime? Who is somebody who does the crime? Yeah, but I Oh my god. Yeah, she's sitting on a tippy does. She's 
She said, Mike, M I D H T. Mike, not in. Mike. <laughs> No, not yet. Well, yeah, he did. Yeah, that was episode 11. I mean, Yamada and her big... <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not your fault. It's the ominous fucking fault for, you know, automatically thinking and assuming and not listening. But no, this girl is like, I'm going to run around like an idiot and tell everybody. Well, I mean, you can still work there, but I'll just be like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in his brother. Oh my god, just, she's not quitting. Oh my god, but yes, you guys need to ask her so that we can go ahead and get this situation solved and y'all can beat the crap out of Yamada. Because Yamada, and just, mm, big misunderstanding of words. <gasps> oh, this <laughs> You know what I thought he was going to do? Just jump up into the sky like he was flying in some head. <laughs> uh, 
and, and she's at the restaurant. What the am I? That's right, because you need other opinions. I don't like the way they're zooming in on her face like that. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god, she's not quitting! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Take a ringo, and another ringo, and another ringo. A tower of ringos. This is just a big misunderstanding. Y'all that are right there standing and doing nothing. Be like, all right, right then and there. Be like, hey, emergency meeting, like, mm.
Of course none of you are okay with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one. The one who started it all. Crying the most. Well, this was a nice way to end season two. Yeah, you. <laughs> like I said, all the drama comes from my purple haired child. <laughs> Yamada. <laughs> oh, of course, you can't really end this show without Yamada making one more little sneak appearance. I can't. Oh, this show. This is actually a really good season. I mean, oh, with these final three episodes, bruh, I don't even know what else to really say about it, but like, mm, thank God. <laughs> the elephant in the room, the big misunderstanding was taken care of. But, um, this is why you never really <laughs> take the concepts of what someone is saying, especially if they are talking about their future, because, yeah, pretty out of it, she may have to quit. May. Might. The two important keywords. Yamada was like, nope, oh, okay, you're quitting. Let me run around the restaurant and tell everybody. I, mean, <laughs> I love having the introduction of Yamada's brother and, <laughs> and Ota Sai's wife. Hopefully we get to see her again because she was only in like one episode, even though a lot of people told me um, with the episode that she came in that she was kind of featured in season one and it makes me want to go back and rewatch season one to see where she popped up. But, oh, this is just a really good season. <laughs> but you know, Yamada got her butt kicked. Like, oh, God, that, that poor child. She just normal. She different. <laughs> of course it hasn't. But um, okay. So Maya, even though this is like her, not her second appearance, I want to say her fourth appearance overall. Maya, I mean, she she's interesting. She's different. She's 
how she would like to say normal, but she kind of reminds me of, like, Subasa from the Monogatari series, where she's like, I'm normal, but I'm not normal. Like, I know everything and I know nothing. But, I, I mean, she's still, she seems interesting. I kind of put her in the plainly route. I mean, if any of you have played Danganronpa, especially Danganronpa V3, and you've met best girl Sumugi, then, yeah, this plainly girl right there, best girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I don't want to put any too much spoilage on that ish, but super, I mean, Sumugi, best freaking girl, Maya. But, I mean, she is interesting, but, like, the fact is, like, what's the face, like, called her a old hag, like, you know, sometimes she, Maya is the type of character who's like, you know, I deal with so much shit <laughs> with my coworkers. Maybe I need to quit. And you know what? It would be really hilarious if one day, you know, in this season coming up for however long we have until the show is over, um, she quits. <laughs> like, you know what? I'm so sick of her to get shit. Like, but still, this was a really good season. I'm glad that we got to, you know, continue the relationship with some of the old characters and meet some new ones and I mean honestly they were freaking hilarious and I love them so much but like now I wonder if Yamina's brother is ever gonna find him um her is Oto-san's wife ever gonna be able to find her husband again there's so many unanswered questions that hopefully season three will give me something but honestly I'm not gonna know until <laughs> we start season three, but other than that, guys, that is our reaction to towards season two of working. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes one and two of season three. Bye, guys.